mean, people ask about the, you know, the handcuffs. They think the one on the bottom rail is. Right. Yeah, the people walk in. Oh, is that, that those are the Houdini handcuffs. Yeah, you see people you, pointing the handcuffs on the rail. Which is there, not right. The real ones are up there uh, um, above the uh, powder horn. And Houdini got out of it in around 1904. He came in and he was recognized by. Uh, a cop who was here and he said, let's see if you can get out of real handcuffs, and of course it did, so they, uh, they hung him up. So, yeah, when I was a kid, um, you know, they'd bring me in and, and one of the, I remember one of the first things I always liked looking at was uh, the McSorley 9 photo, because, you know, you're like five, six, seven years old, and uh, it was, one, I, I, I was playing baseball already, so um, I was just like, oh yeah, I'm like these guys. Um, but then, you know, they, you know, my dad or, or Tommy Lloyd was in this photo or, or Rich would sort of be like, well, we'll count them. And you go up, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there's no ninth man. Uh, so it's just sort of funny. And um, and sort of, you know, I don't know, I think before they would open on a Saturday and my dad is like, well, you know, you know, you know there's eight guys, but can you find the ghost in there? Uh, and I was like, oh, what are you talking about? Um, and he's like, well, look, look, look close over here. Um, and you know you start you know you kind of it's one of those things you step back and you start to see it there's uh, sort of between the negative space and the branches here it looks like there's a, a little bit of a figure with a you know sort of a head and shoulders an uh, oblong head and a little bit of you can almost like in the McSorley giant you know, button down and a head there uh, and then he said now I'll look at the chowder club photo and you're sort of scanning 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 and right here uh, and sort of similar part of the, you know, sort of same top left part of the photo, you see it's like the, almost the same looking shadow, um, which is, you know, then once you see it in this one, it becomes much easier. You almost can't unsee it in either photo. And so that was always like, oh shoot, that's the ghost. Uh, and that's also the ninth player of the McSorley Nine. And I always thought, in a weird way, and I, you know, this is, this, you know, I always did thought it looks a little bit like my dad. You know, it had, it had, you could sort of make out some kind of weird mustache or glasses or whatever, you know. Um, but it's also totally blurred, so probably everyone could look at that and see whatever they want. Um, but you know, it was cool. Yeah. The wishbones are hanging over here on the yeah. gas line, and they were hung in there in 1917 with the no, I, I, guys, the uh, local guys who've been drafted and ship it out. And they, uh, this is right close to, right after Thanksgiving, and they brought their family wishbone turkey wishbones in, and they hung them up for good luck. And when they came back the next year, when the war was over, they took them off. Uh, the guys that didn't make it back, that were killed in Belgium and France, uh, those are their bones. So we hadn't dusted them for 95 years, and, and the health department uh, actually looked up one, one visit decided it was time for us to dust uh, the wishbones. So, and they're, they're, they're looking good. People still, uh, the meaning's still there. So the bones are still there. So.